what you see here is the tool holder. The back side is the blade assembly holder is called tool position one, while the front side is called tool position three. Here is the actual blade in the tool position one. This is normal for vinyl cutting or contour cutting. It's on the back side of that uh, blade holder. In this slide, we see the blade uh, actually in the front position or in tool position three. This is what we use for uh, perf cutting and you'll notice that it's actually repositioned over a small channel so that we can actually add more force in our cutting. We want to make sure that we assign a tool that is for condition number three we're going to assign tool number three, tool position number three and that way they correspond and we'll be using that in our software uh, in Cutting Master when we're trying to perf cut. And here we have condition number three associated with tool position number three by pressing the number three on the control panel. That way the tool number one will be associated with tool position number one and condition number one and condition number three will be associated with tool position number three. Now just follow along a, a short video uh, demonstrating how to set up your cutter for perf cutting. Now it may sound a little confusing at, the, at first and, but it's not and we're going to include a step-by-step -step guide for you but it's good to watch this whole procedure. You may need to watch it several times, but it's totally worth it. Now I have my tool in uh, the actual tool location number one. That's the back side back here, which is over the strip. It's that little neoprene uh, strip back here that uh, protects the blade from uh, you know, uh, breaking and so forth. So and it also pushes uh, on the vinyl against the uh, knife blade. Uh, so what we're going to do though is we're going to run a test cut on this and we're going to do a blade adjustment. But instead of, if you're just doing vinyl cutting, uh, you're going to do a blade adjustment and you're just going to adjust it like you normally would, like we showed in the previous uh, examples. But if you're going to do contour cutting and perf cutting, not just contour cutting, but contour cutting and perf cutting, then what you're probably going to need to do is move that blade to the position number three, which is the front part of the blade holder here, the blade assembly holder. So what we want to do is we want to set this uh, tool depth back here on this first tool to about six mils or so. You'll have to experiment here, six, eight mils. We actually, the blade length is going to be longer than normal. Uh, which also means that when we're cutting regular vinyl, we're, if we leave it in that tool position number one there, we're going to back down on the force a little bit. When we move it to tool position number three for contour cutting and perf cutting, what we're going to do, uh, especially perf cutting, what we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, move that uh, force up uh, probably so to somewhere between 38 and 42, uh, somewhere in that range right there, 38 to 39. So again, what may happen is on the back side back here, on the back tool, we're going to adjust it for a deeper blade depth. And then we're going to use that for everyday cutting. Whenever we have to do a perf cut, we're going to disassemble this. We're just going to take the blade out of the holder here. Just take this assembly all the way off if you want to. I'm just going to pull it all the way out like that. I'm just taking it off. And we're going to move that blade to the front position, not the back side, but the front side like this. And then we're going to attach that again. So let's put that back on there. Make sure it attaches properly. Nothing's going to be forced here. It'll just go right into position the way it's supposed to. There we go. We'll just tighten that up a little bit. All right. And then on the control panel here, 
we're going to need to switch from uh, condition one, which is what we're using for normal vinyl cutting and contour cutting, to condition number three. And I suggest one being your vinyl cut and contour cut and position and con condition three being your perf cut. And that kind of corresponds with one being the back side tool position one and three being the front side tool position three. So I'm going to switch to condition three here. We just uh, choose uh, the condition here and I'm on indoor vinyl right now so I'm going to choose number one and then I'm going to switch to position number three. I'm using my control panel and what I'm going to do in the control panel here is I'm going to set this and then we're going to change the force. So I've changed the force uh, pretty heavily here. I've got mine set at about 40 which is a little high. Probably my blade needs to come out a little bit further but in any case I, that's still in the range of acceptability there and we're going to do a test cut now so I'm going to do a test cut for perf cutting. I've got the blade in the front, tool position number three, and I'm going to do a test cut. All right, let's go ahead and send that test cut for force. And what you're going to see here is it's going to cut through the vinyl here. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting my hand on the back of the vinyl and just pushing, and I notice that's coming right out like that. So just put your hand on the back of the vinyl, push that vinyl out, and that will give you an indication of whether you've got a deep enough cut here. As you cut all the way back through there, you don't want too much blade extending. You still have a difficult time seeing the blade, uh, but it's pushing down. And there's a small channel right in here. I don't know if you can see my blade or not, but it'll actually go in that channel right there and push down on the vinyl very, very hard. But that allows the blade to cut all the way through the vinyl as we need. So I've got that set up okay, it looks like. And I want to be sure that when I'm doing a contour cut, uh, or excuse me, a perf cut, that we also assign one more thing here. We're done with the uh, actual uh, test cut here, so I'm going to go back to my uh, regular uh, condition screen here. And I'm going to just hit the down arrow once, and the number three on the down arrow is going to be assign tool. And that's what I'm going to pick. Click number three here. And for three, I'm actually going to switch this. Uh, it says condition on the top, and then underneath it says uh, tool number one. I'm going to switch that to tool number three. Okay, and then we're going to hit enter to set that. Now what's basically happened is I've set up condition number three for perf cutting, and I've set up condition number one for vinyl cutting and contour cutting. So whenever you're contour cutting, you're going to want to use position tool number one. That's the one on the back. And whenever you're perf cutting, you're going to use position number three, which is on the front side here. So we'll switch this back now to the back side of the, of the blade holder there. And then we'll tighten this uh, up a little bit, just like we normally do. Just like that. I'm going to go back to my condition on my control panel here. We're done with the test cut, so I'm finished with that. And all we want to do is actually just uh, exit this menu. We're going to go back to our condition here. And what I'm going to do is change conditions one more time here. Number one. And I'm going to go back to my vinyl condition, which is condition number one for most of my jobs during the day. And I'll use that most of the time. So I've tested it. it it's, it's actually cut through the uh, vinyl. It's also doing a very good uh, cut for just normal vinyl. Uh, we can just move that over if we need to here. We'll just position that over here to the side. Just past our test cut. There we go. And this again, this was for the uh, uh, cut on the uh, all the way through the vinyl. But what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to test it for a uh, test cut with regular vinyl. So we click the uh, test cut and we go ahead and test the force again. that pulls it right out and then when I weed this uh, it comes right up just like I'm used to and it tells me that uh, this cutter is ready for either vinyl cutting or for uh, perf cutting. We've got it set up correctly. You may need to experiment a little bit adjusting the blade depth a little bit further uh, but don't overextend it. The idea is to use the least amount of blade possible either for vinyl cutting or for perf cutting. Uh, change the force a little bit, uh, up or down as needed, 
uh, and you'll hit a, a nice combination where you'll be able to cut vinyl as well as do perf cut bit cutting very easily.